Hey, welcome back to Cracks Country Cooking. I'm Ben. Today we're making bacon wrapped meatloaf. For the meatloaf, I have two pounds of chuck cubed up, and I also have a pound of rib trimmings. Start doing it. The meat I had in the freezer for about 45 minutes after I cubed it up. For the meat grinder, I put in a day ahead of time in the freezer. Just helps with cutting the fat and stuff like that. I have a large die in here now. Going to switch out for the smaller die. Always twice grind my meat. All right, you got paprika, pepper, salt, garlic powder, milk powder, seasoned breadcrumbs. We have celery, parsley, sauteed onion, Three eggs. We also have beef broth. Make sure everything's nice and mixed together. That looks good. So I'll use, I'm gonna use a plastic wrap lined loaf pan. Push. push it into the corners. Okay, now we'll put this in the fridge and let it go for about an hour, just so it conforms to the shape and all the ingredients mix together nicely. So now, on a cutting board, with some parchment paper, spread out some black pepper. Now we'll get our bacon weave ready. Set these out. Try to use a center cut bacon, name brand so that it doesn't shred the fat fat, I always stagger them. I think it works better that way. You want it about the length of a piece of bacon, about six or seven wide. Now you're gonna take every other one and bring it all the way up. Now I'll do the opposite. Pull these all up. See how the bacon gets coated nicely in the pepper? Always found it easier to pepper the whole bacon that way. So I'll take an aluminum foil wrapped wire rack, place that on the cutting board. So make sure the plastic wrap is not underneath. I take some of this parchment paper, take this wire Take the wire rack that has aluminum foil on it, flip this upside down. Pull the plastic wrap off. So now we have this, we have to get the bacon on it. So the easiest way to do that is to move this out of the way. Take the parchment paper. Center it the best you can, and you're kind of trying to get it in the middle. Eh, pretty close. Let's scoot this down a little bit. Now pull the edges up. wire 
rack. This is actually the hardest part making this meatloaf. Parchment paper rolled down to the side of the meatloaf. Did pretty good, not too bad. Got a chimney's worth of charcoal on that side of the grill, doing a two zone fire. I lit that half, let it go for about half an hour, threw a piece of cherry oven on there for a little smoke. Now we take the whole wire rack and everything, and place it right here. To monitor the temperature, we're gonna be using a Thermapro temp spike. Pretty simple, take it out of its holder that charges it. Keep this within like five feet of the unit and Bluetooth right to your phone. It'll hold the internal temp, it'll take the internal temperature and external temperature. All right, we'll check on this. About 45 minutes. I'm going to, I want to rotate this. let this go I'm trying to keep it around 400 degrees all right we'll check on it another 30 minutes it's been another 30 minutes we're gonna rotate it one more time we'll let that go for another 30 minutes it's reached 165 degrees internal now it's time to pull it after two hours on the Weber at 425 degrees, we rotated it every half hour. It's done, it hit 165 degrees internal, I let it rest for about 40 minutes on the counter. It's a lot of meat, holding a lot of energy, so it looks awesome. Slice right down the middle. Bacon is crispy. Look at that. Good looking meatloaf. Ooh, it's still hot inside. Let's cut a section and try it. That bacon on it, nice and crispy. Oh, nothing like some good old meatloaf. Not falling apart. Hmm. Gotta use the milk powder. Perfect binder, keeps it from falling apart. Holds everything together. So good. Cherry wood, light, light smoke on it. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos. We've got more videos coming out every week. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Threads, of course, YouTube. You can go to our website, crackscountrycooking.com. You can buy our spices, rubs. There's recipes on there. All right, see ya. Dinner time.